if sinning can make your iman weaker, don't you think doing positive things can make your iman higher? Stop living your life on autopilot. Stop it. Ramadan is coming soon. A lot of you are just going to carry over your sins into Ramadan. A lot of you are going to carry your bad habits into Ramadan. Shaitan is supposed to be locked up. But this whole time he's been conditioning you. So when he departs, you're on autopilot. Way of Life SQ. Keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And uh, the title is true. Sinning does lower your iman. And today we're going to talk about it very briefly alongside a name of Allah that can change your life. And here's the cool part about this video that not many are going to see it. Only some are going to see it. And that just means it was meant to hit your eyes and your ears. So let's jump into this video. First and foremost, you got to understand something that we're all at a specific energy or a specific frequency. You understand? When you're feeling good, you do good. You understand? Oh, camera's about to fall. Hold on now. I think that's a little better. When you're feeling good, you'll do good. When you're feeling bad, you'll do bad. You make poor decisions when you're feeling poor. And I don't mean poor as in no money. I mean poor as in how you're feeling on the inside. Okay. You see, the shaitan understands this about the human nature and human condition. And hence, he wants you to feel bad. If he can make the son of Adam, aka you and I watching this right now, feel low, feel bad, it could be through different type of triggers, right? It could be, you know, something wrong happening in your life. You're not feeling good. You're feeling sad. Shaitan knows that's when your defenses are at its weakest. When the son of Adam is not feeling good, that's when the shaitan attacks you even harder. And he causes you, encourages you to make poor decisions and poor choices. But today's name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the 99 names of Allah, I don't even know what name it is today. But it is going to be a nice name for you. And that name is At-Tawwab. At-Tawwab. Now, a lot of us might think that At-Tawwab is the one who gives you the forgiveness, like the, the grantor of forgiveness, but that's not what it is. At-Tawwab is the beacon of forgiveness. He is the light that guides you towards forgiveness. So it is Allah who guides you towards His own forgiveness, subhanAllah. It is Allah who guides you and acts as a beacon to guide you towards His forgiveness. And He will honor those who turn towards Him for forgiveness. So if you're someone out there made some mistakes, we've all done them. Don't think you're alone, we've all done them. If you're someone who's made some mistakes and you have dishonored yourself, turn to At-Tawwab because He will guide you towards His forgiveness and that's where the honor will be restored. You see, sinning weakens and lowers your Iman. It makes you feel like crap. It makes you feel like just straight up dog poop, if you get what I mean. And when you're feeling that way, you're more likely to make poor choices. Because how you feel determines how you're going to act and behave. Because if you're feeling good, if you're feeling good, if your Iman is high, and remember something, you have to understand that our, our Qalb is volatile. It switches. It switches, it's volatile, it, it turns, it flip-flops around. So you're dealing with an organ of yours that already has a tendency to turn and flip-flop around. Now, if you're unaware of your own heart, your own emotions, your own feelings, aka you're lacking self-awareness, all of a sudden something does, someone does something to you. Maybe your mom says something to you. It doesn't sit well with you. So now all of a sudden you're feeling kind of low, feeling kind of like, you know, like a little low. And then out of that low feeling, you start making low decisions. And you see, the lower decisions you make, and think about those low decisions that you make, maybe talking to someone that you shouldn't, maybe watching something you shouldn't, maybe listening to something you shouldn't, maybe hanging out with someone that you shouldn't. These are all residual effects of you feeling like crap. So here's some advice. Figure out when you're feeling bad and why you're feeling bad. When you're feeling a certain type of way, pause everything, man. Pause something. Stop living your life on autopilot. Stop it. Ramadan is coming soon. A lot of you are just going to carry over your sins into Ramadan. A lot of you are going to carry your bad habits into Ramadan. Shaitan is supposed to be locked up. But this whole time he's been conditioning you. So when he departs, you're on autopilot. Get off of autopilot right now. 
understand yourself a little bit more. Spend more time understanding the intricacies of your feelings. What are your triggers? What sets you off? What upsets you? Because once you're able to figure these things out, that's when you're able to truly master your own feelings. And when you're able to master your own feelings, as soon as you start, it doesn't mean you're gonna stop feeling bad. It means when you do start feeling bad, you're gonna be able to trace it and catch it more early on. Be like, hang on a second. It was because my mom told me to do something while I was interrupted or something. Hold on, my expectations are broken right now. Or my feelings are hurt right now. Maybe that's what's causing me to feel a little bad right now. Let me go make some wadu. Let me go pray. Let me go apologize to my mom. Let me go do what my mom is asking me to do. Let me get out of this funk. But that can only happen if you become self-aware of your feelings. But do not have any doubt about this. Have no doubts, my friends. The lower your iman gets, the more you sin, the lower and weaker your iman gets. But the opposite is also true. The more positive things you do, the more good you do, the things that you do to break the patterns, the fact that you're even watching this and becoming self-aware about who you are is already destroying that pattern and already lifting you off of autopilot. So if sinning can make your iman weaker, don't you think doing positive things can make your iman higher? Isn't it true? Didn't the Messenger وسلم, tell us to replace a bad deed with a good one? He understands us. He understands that when the son of Adam is feeling low, he does more low things. But hey, hang on a second. If you feel good, if you get yourself to feel good, you want a quick way to get yourself to feel good, do a good deed. That will switch your trajectory and send you straight up. And then you're going to be headed towards a more positive area in your life. And don't think that there needs to be some massive good deed. The intention is the first start. Start the intention. Go do something. Pick up a dish on your house. Wash the dishes. Take out the garbage. Do something kind for your mother. Press her feet. Ask your mother how she's doing. Ask your father how he's doing. Be good to your siblings. Those are all good deeds. Those are all going to help you go towards the trajectory of increasing your iman. But your iman belongs to you. Don't allow the shaitan to take control of it. I love you and appreciate you all for watching. And sincerely from the bottom of my heart, I ask a tawab to guide us towards his repentance and accept us and re-honor us after we have dishonored ourselves. After we have degraded ourselves, Ya Rabbi, Ya Tawab, please honor us and guide us towards the right path towards your forgiveness. Love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, I'm out.